You want to see a beautiful creature? The Tamandua, a species of anteater, is one of the most rare to see during the day like this, and especially to get this close to a human being. They are notorious for getting in fights with dogs around these parts, and honestly, sometimes they win. So hopefully we don't get in a fight today. But if he did want to fight me, you'd see a big defensive posture, and those claws, those claws are way too sharp. I do not want to get torn up. I mean, that's a really hard one to explain to mom. I got my butt kicked by a tamandua. In Spanish, oso hormiguero, so an ant bear. Right now he's looking for termites, ants, whatever he can find, typically more on the termite side. You never see this, like they do not do this in the day normally. They are usually a nocturnal species that's coming out and foraging for, for their food. And maybe like five years that I've lived here, I've seen a tail, a piece of fuzz. This is unreal to see one in the day, crossing over on the path, forging on the bottom. I mean, <laughs> I'm just blown away. This is crazy. Right now, the termites are just flying out of their nest as the tamandua just ravages their house. <laughs> I have never, ever, in five years living in Costa Rica, been this close to such an incredible, shy creature. I mean, you just don't see these in the day like this. And he's literally over my head, just chilling out, having a good time. <laughs> and you're going to see too, as you look at the look at him, he's, he's eating, that looks like some, uh, some munchy termites and they're crawling all over his fur. He's got thick fur and thick skin so he can just get in there and start mowing down on some termites without getting bit because believe it or not, the termite soldiers will bite and if you don't have thick skin, it can hurt quite a bit. And you, it's a little different when, the, when they're biting me, having these ants and termites on this tree biting me. Uh, I don't have that same thick skin that they do. This is definitely not as comfortable, but to be this close to such a magnificent creature, I, I will never have this opportunity again in my life. Let's go see if we can find him again. He's getting some water right now. Let's go, say, let's go take a closer look because he's getting a drink after killing all those ter termites. He's ready to have a drink of water. He's choosing his pond carefully, getting a drink of water. You know, nothing satisfies a tamandua more than having a bunch of termites to mow down on and then getting a nice drink in a fresh caiman and crocodile fested pond. I don't see any caimans in there, so I think he's looking all right. I actually kind of wonder who would win between him and a fight with one of the caimans out there. If you can see when he sticks his hands and climbs up, those claws are just razor sharp. And that helps him grip onto the trees, navigate through the forest, dig through termite nests, because termite nests are just super hard. And you gotta have like nails of steel to get through that concrete. All right, he's on the move. Time for us to get on the move. If ever there was a friendly tamandua, or little oso hormiguero, the ant bear, this cute little guy takes the cake. <laughs> He's still got a termite hanging out on his forehead right now. And with that thick skin, he's not going to get stung. Let's go. Here he goes as he crosses the path. He's pretty agile on the ground, but way better at climbing. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's go find that eyelash pit viper. 